Here we go. All right, you guys. Going to talk about why you might be tired after you eat. Let me flip this so you guys can see it. It just takes me a second here to get the settings going. Do, do, do. Yes. Brighten it so you can see better. Even though I have lights, I can't have a ton of lighting on my whiteboard. Otherwise, there's a glare. So let's talk about this. Why would you get tired after you eat? Um, besides after a big like Thanksgiving meal or something, right? If you're like, oh yeah, I get tired after I eat, but it's, you know, Thanksgiving. So of course I, I ate a lot. That's normal, right? Mm, it depends. It depends. And here are some of the things that I want to go through about your physiology and then some things that you can do to help really work with your system. Um, if you have experienced a lot of fatigue after eating and you feel like you're having an issue digesting food properly, all of that stuff, I want to make sure you guys have the opportunity to get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. Um, we work on these things. I make sure we do hormone testing. We uh, look at your system and go over all this stuff. And I'm going to show you an example of this on the Dutch test, which is the testing that we do um, for your system. So that link is right there in the comments for you to get on the wait list. If you are not on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. So I am exhausted after I eat. I, every time I eat, I get bloated or I have issues and I get tired. Why can I not get over this? Why can't this, you know, work better for me? Well, first thing to realize is that after you eat, and especially if you are eating a good balanced meal, especially if you are eating proteins, fats, carbs, all those things that you're supposed to be eating to fuel your body, your digestive process uses a lot of energy. It uses like the most energy ever. So this is why you never want to run a marathon or something after eating a big meal, of course. Yeah. You're thinking that, that, would, that would feel awful. Yeah. But also, even if you're eating something small like a snack and you feel a little run down, you're like, gosh, I don't understand this. I was hungry and I was kind of fatigued because I was hungry. So I ate and I felt good for a little bit, but then nose dive. What is happening? Well, one of the things that can be happening is a cortisol imbalance. You might be thinking, well, if it's my digestive system using a lot of energy, why would my cortisol levels be impacting how much energy I have? I would love to talk about that. I would love to talk about that. Let's talk about that. So your system reacts a ton to cortisol, to stress, all of that stuff. And when we look at cortisol response, if you, and this is a Dutch test. So this is what I use. Uh, it's a urine test for hormones. So we check your adrenal function. This is a little picture of the adrenal gland. How cute is that? <sighs> right? So cute. And then we get to see your cortisols here, um, how it's stored, how it's used in your system. And if your cortisol levels are really, really low, right? And this is something we look at on this, like see how low this level is here. That's exhausting. That's absolutely exhausting. And if you have really, really low levels and you get too hungry or your body can't process nutrients correctly, it is going to be an additional stressor on your system. So it will wear you out faster. Your body cannot handle any extra stressors. Like a light breeze of any type of stress, even if it's a good stressor, is going to take you down and out again. And you will notice it. You will notice it every time. Yeah because your body can have a bad response. So again, this is why I do this type of testing. And this is why I talk about these things in the 12 week challenge. And we target these things to work back towards a better, healthier you. Otherwise you can be experiencing things like this and just think, gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Huh? I don't know. Maybe it's just my other hormones. Maybe I just need to work harder. Maybe I need to eat this differently. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we need to check your cortisol levels. And that can tell us a lot about that cortisol imbalance. Um, you can have a sluggish gut overall. If your digestive system slows down, I also do GI mapping tests um, just to make sure we're seeing what your gut is doing. What is your gut doing? Is there a bacterial imbalance? Do you have a candida issue? What, what's happening there that we would need to check your digestive system? And then the last one here, this is also related to your overall blood sugars. This is something that, again, we see connections to with your cortisol um, and some of your other hormones and inflammatory responses that we see on the Dutch test. But this is when you eat something, if your body cannot handle glucose properly, so uh, you don't handle carbs very well. Like they just don't, it doesn't, it's like your body wants carbs, but it doesn't feel as good when you eat them. And you're like, oh, how do, what do I do? How do I handle this moving forward, right? That's because when you eat some type of carb, your body has a terrible time balancing it. This is a leptin ghrelin issue with being hungry and then feeling satisfied and your body being able to regulate your own blood sugar. It's really hard when you have other hormonal imbalances to balance your blood sugar. It's 10 times harder for your system. Yay. 
So what happens is that you'll eat something, your blood sugar increases way too much, just shoots up there. Now, what happens when the blood sugar increases a ton is that your insulin increases because that's what helps that uh, blood sugar be processed better. So this is just a natural response. Now, insulin increases, but if insulin isn't kept in check, you can actually get more insulin. This is called reactive hypoglycemia. So you'll eat something and like immediately after you eat something, you get that rush of increase of blood sugar. You're like, oh my gosh, I was so hungry. I was so hungry. I was starving. And you eat something in like five or 10 minutes later, you're like, ooh, yes, yes, that was good. Oh, I feel good. Yeah, that's it. But then all of a sudden the insulin comes in, processes things a little aggressively, and now your blood sugar plummets. And then you don't feel good. You feel exhausted. You feel fatigued. This can also contribute to more of a sluggish gut. This is definitely going to uh, make your cortisol imbalance worse. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a thing that can happen in your body. And if you're like, oh my gosh, this, this sounds kind of familiar. If I go too long without eating something and then I eat something, I have this weird response. I feel good for like five minutes, but then you know, 20 minutes later, I start getting really tired and I have a hard time picking myself back up again. That's this. So you have to make sure you're eating, supporting your blood sugar levels, supporting your own body processes, and moving forward in a completely different way with supporting your system through nutrition. Um, and this can also change with your hormones throughout the, throughout the month too. So your cycle can impact how your body processes uh, sugars and glucose and your blood sugar levels. Yeah. If you want, um, I can do a whole video on that about estrogen, progesterone, and your blood sugars. Just let me know. Um, put a comment, uh, you know, below. Um, you know, let me know if you want more info on that and things to look for around different times of the month. Um, but also, make sure that you go in the comments and get on the wait list for the next 12-week challenge because I can only take so many uh, gals in that group. Other resources I have for you, though, are my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Great resources about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle and what to do with your new menopausal body there. I also have my podcast, which is The Female Health Solution, and my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, um, all with tons of episodes, videos, and things just for more resources. And then stay tuned. My tinctures for your hormones and cycle are coming out very, 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 very soon. They are about to be released, so make sure you are checking out um, and staying tuned for that. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any other questions, if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you later.